Hi, I'm Roy Stannard, and we're just coming up to the entrance of Burgess Hill Radio, right in the heart of the community, Church Walk, Burgess Hill. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the radio station and what its purpose is today and show you around. I'm going to tell you a little bit more. Now, Howard Popek and I host a show called Lost Immortals on Sundays between 5 and 7, and the show takes place here in Studio One. Well, we're sitting in the main studio of Burgess Hill Radio. This is the studio that most of the programming comes from. We have a second studio, which is used for news and uh, editing and that kind of thing. The, the radio station is one of 300 community radio stations in the UK. Uh, they're getting ever more populous because uh, Ofcom, the government body in charge of the radio industry, wants to promote them because they provide on-the-ground coverage of news, weather, entertainment, events, which other radio stations, they don't have the manpower to do it. There's no profit involved, which means that all the money raised through advertising or anything else can go towards the running of the station. It started broadcasting in October last year after a two-year process of winning the license. Now Howard is going to take the story on from here. I worked with Roy on our Sunday programme, Lost Immortals, and I knew very little about community radio until I met Roy. And I've been an avid radio listener since I was a child, which as you can see was probably some long while ago, mainly listening to music. I knew the term community radio, but I didn't really at that point understand the advantages to people that like me love music. Predominantly, you're not beholden to a playlist where you have to rigidly adhere to uh, because of the nature of the advertising that happens in uh, a national radio station with community radio in Burgess Hill. Particular, there's considerable flexibility on the playlist. You can introduce your own level of uh, personality, and it's the flexibility generally. The fact that it's local, it goes out quickly, it has fantastic coverage because of streaming as well as FM. Altogether, a really enjoyable experience, as it would appear to be so for our many listeners. Now, if you follow me through, uh, I'll take you through to Studio Two, and this is where we do. Most of the post and pre-production uh, editing, interviews and other things like that, and then it gets fed through to Studio One. Now this is the theme I put together for the beginning of the show, and it's just a few seconds long and then it goes into something a little more punchy. And every Sunday at five o'clock when I introduce the show, I start telling the audience what they can expect this week, and Howard Popek and myself, who are the co-hosts of the show, will start to talk about what we're doing and introduce the show. All the tracks, by the way, have come from the Facebook page that we run, Lost Immortals on Facebook. And then with this music underneath, I go on to talk about what's coming up in the show this week. I mention all the contributors who are often people who have come through the Facebook page. They, of course, tune in to hear their music. It all works extremely well. Well, I'm just finishing editing the show, putting the tracks in the right order, making sure all the levels are okay. That means we're ready to start broadcasting. The time is about 10 minutes to five, and I'm waiting for Howard to arrive. We'll have a brief chat about what we're gonna do in the show, and then it's live on air, five o'clock Sunday afternoon. Lost Immortals with Roy Stannard and Howard Popek on Burgess Hill Radio. And a very good evening to you from Roy Stannard and Howard Popek, my partner in crime on the Lost Immortals show. We meet together every Sunday between 5 and 7 to present the Lost Immortals show, the show where we resurrect tracks, don't we Howard? We resurrect them, we defibrillate them, we bring them back to life, mainly from artists who were either famous and had tracks that got nowhere, paradoxically, or music which was truly wonderful and the band or performers didn't get the breaks at the time. That's brilliant. Well, we're going to introduce the show this week with a favourite track of mine from 1985, Child of Love from The Lemon Trees. So stay tuned, we're here until 7 o'clock. After 7 it's Dan Whaley with Outer Limits, so uh, it's a whole evening of fantastic entertainment in store for you. And it's good clean wholesome entertainment Roy.
what it's all about, entertaining the masses. Well, burn yourself. Could we say it's opium for the masses? No. Oh. Couldn't we?